Hi everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing the specs, pros and cons of XP Pen's second generation Artist 16 and comparing it to my current tablet, the Huion Canvas Pro 16, which I've been using for several months now. So both of these tablets work as external displays, meaning you need to plug them into a PC, laptop, or as more models are doing, into a compatible phone to get them to work. These models can also be used as non-screen tablets, so if you've been working a while and your posture's not great, you can always switch over and draw that way. Though I won't use this much myself, I really like this feature because it means you can have the best of both screen and non-screen tablets. Obviously, you wouldn't want to use them as non-screen tablets exclusively because there are other cheaper options that you could take a look at instead. XP Pen's second generation Artist 16 has 10 programmable keys and a 15.4 inch HD screen area. Whereas the Huion Canvas Pro 16 has 8 programmable keys and a 15.8 inch QHD screen area. HD is great for a tablet this size or smaller, but in comparison the 2.5K looks super crisp and the colours are much more vibrant and clear. Looking at any tablet larger than 16 inch at HD resolution, you are going to see some pixels and it's not going to be as sharp as a higher resolution display. Both screens are fully laminated to help reduce the distance between the pen nib and display for a more natural drawing experience and are anti-glare so they're easier to see in bright or direct light. The price for these tablets are just under £300 for a more budget-friendly option and £530 for a mid-range model respectively. If you're looking for a new tablet, both brands have sales fairly regularly, so keep an eye out. Now the difference in price is not just because of the difference in screen quality, because the XP Pen 2nd Gen Artist 16 doesn't come with a tablet stand, extra felt nibs or a 1 meter USB-C to USB-C cable like the Huion does, as these are sold separately. Otherwise, everything else that comes with these tablets is pretty much the same. If I was to purchase the 2nd Gen Artist 16 and wanted the extra accessories of the Canvas Pro 16, it would bring the price to around 380 Then, the difference in price is simply for the improved screen quality, which to me is worth it. But definitely make a list of what features are important to you and see what is out there for your price range. Now as for the tablet setup, the drivers are easy to use and there are plenty of options for adding shortcuts to the buttons on the side. Both tablets feel solid and good quality. The XP Pen is made of plastic but has a consistent width rather than the tapered edges previous tablets have used. And the Huion is plastic and the back is covered with an alloy case which is used to help with the tablet getting hot. I enjoy drawing on both these tablets. The laminated screen helps a lot with cursor accuracy and the reduction of parallax. So when you put your pen down on the screen, the cursor does match up with the nib, which is super important. Although both pens have 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity and 60 degrees of tilt, the XP Pen stylus is lighter, slimmer and shorter than Huion's and doesn't have a rubber grip. If this bothers you, you can DIY a grip or pick one up online. The way the tablet registers the pressure when drawing is really good, so you can get that full range of slim to thick, and at the end of the strokes the lines taper nicely. I did see a little jitter when I zoom in on the lines, some of that is my hand, some of that is what's called mechanical wave, but if I turn on the stabilizer it does go away, even on lower strengths. I used a straight edge to show you what I mean here. Though this isn't a deal breaker for me, it might be for you, so I thought it was worth a mention. In comparison to my current Huion tablet, there is less mechanical wave and the lines do appear straighter. In the second gen Artist 16, the report rate speed, or RPS, is 200, which is fairly standard for most tablets. My last tablet was the XP Pen Artist 13.3 Pro and that had a rate of 220. In my Huion tablet, it's 300 and I can really tell the difference when I draw. Everything feels smoother and quicker. I'm not sure I would have noticed if I hadn't been switching back and forth, but I have been using the Huion for several months now and it has made a difference. In addition to any other tablet extras you might want to buy, I do still think it's worth getting an extra screen protector to prevent scratches or damage to the tablet surface. To help with this and reduce any potential pain you might get in your wrist from drawing for a long time, head to the driver settings and soften the pen tip to make sure that you're not too forceful when drawing to get the pressure you like. Now to summarize, I like both of these tablets. I think XP Pen's second generation Artist 16 is a good entry level screen tablet that's worth checking out. 
The Huey on Canvas Pro 16, which I currently use, I will keep using. It is a good mid-range tablet. And honestly, if you have a bit more budget and are going for a larger screen, you might want to look at getting a tablet with a better display. Be sure to keep an eye out for discounts on the brand websites and compare the specs between models to make sure that you're getting a good deal. I hope this was helpful. If you've got any questions, leave a comment and I'll be back with another video real soon. Bye.